Hello everybody, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to something sort of different for my channel. This is going to be pretty much a one-off video. This is Order of Twilight. It's a game I found a few weeks back, and um, despite its shortness, it's a really good game, and it's actually very relaxing, like especially listening to this music just now. It always puts me in a pretty calm mood, so pardon me if my commentary is a little more dazed than it usually is, but let's just start start the game. Stop stuttering on the fact. This is the intro. It's really nothing too complex. It's not very important to anything. But it's a very, very unique and creative game for what I've seen. At first, it just appears to be a sort of typical platforming game, but it throws in quite a few twists to make it its own thing. As you can see, the game pretty much explains itself here. I don't really have to do anything. But here's where it becomes sort of unique, is that you can actually use button combinations to cast certain spells, like this magical beam that we can use to destroy the enemies. I think the enemies are called Diamond Dogs. Don't quote me on that, though. I'm not entirely sure. If you use E to cancel a spell, you won't find yourself doing that too much, and you can also just wait out the spell after you put it in if you want to cancel itself. It'll take a while, but it, it does happen eventually. But you might be better off using E if you want. And it'll say here that you can use the spell book. Unfortunately, I'm not going to show off the spell book right now because it shows all the spells since I've already beaten this game before. And there's really no way to clear my save progress. So I'm going to avoid spoiling those spells and we're just going to learn them on our own. This is probably the most useful spell in the game, is the teleport. It's very it's very handy in multiple situations, and they get, they get pretty creative with the puzzles later on. This is also a rather useful spell at times. It's the block. You can only have three blocks on the screen at once, and that's the best way to get up that hill. And now here's where you get a little bit more tricky, is that you have to use these two spells very quickly in conjunction with each other in order to get past that. There might be multiple other ways to do it, like shooting the wall down, but... And this spell is sort of a shockwave effect that does half the damage of the laser. You won't find yourself using that too much, because there's not a whole lot of instances where it comes into play. Which is something that sort of irks me about the game, is that they don't use mul multiple- they certain don't use certain spells as much as they could. Like this one, for instance. This one is really cool. The time-stopping spell. They only use really- it's only really handy in this specific level. So... I think this game would benefit a lot from a level editor, or from just a sequel of some sort. Just because it is very unique and there's so many po possibilities, especially with stuff like this, where you can flip gravity on its head and even on its side with this other spell. Sorry if I'm going through this a little fast, hopefully you're keeping up. It's a rather simplistic game at its base value. Oh dear. But it does take quite a bit to master, I'm only doing so good and I already know all the solutions to these puzzles, so sorry if I'm sort of breezing through it. There will be a link to get this game in the description, just so you know, because this is a free game, and it's very, very relaxing to play sometimes. Here we go. And even when you're sideways like this, you can still use other spells, like your jump, to get past obstacles. You can really use spells in a whole variety of ways to conquer puzzles. There's multiple ways to doing this that I'm not showing off. I might end up showing off some of those more unique ways of beating them. In a, at a later time, because there is some bonus content that you can unlock in this game after you've beaten it. This is a rather unique spell too, you don't use it too much, but it's invisibility, it lets you walk through monsters, but only monsters, not walls or anything. And as that symbol up there would indicate, it wants us to use the block spell here in order to get past, again, there's multiple, sometimes quicker ways to get past these obstacles, but, oh dear, <laughs> looks like I failed there a little bit, but we can always try again, it's no big deal. I love this game enough that I could just... I've played this multiple times, and just the simplicity, something about the sound, the music, and just how fun it is in general to play, it never really gets old. Like I said, a very unique gameplay style. Nothing quite like what I've seen. Alright, and I found that there's two, there's two pretty distinct ways to beat this level here, and this is probably the... this is the one I had to think about a little bit before I figured it out. But that's probably the easier way. Oh, you don't want to move at all while you're falling like that, though. Otherwise, death will likely befall you. And then, um... You can just turn invisible here and fall to the exit. That's something kind of cool, is that you don't actually have to walk through the exit. This is probably one of the harder things to do in the game, is to get this timing right on this. Because you have to fall and teleport and shoot. I made that look pretty easy, but there are 
been times where I would do that five times in a row and still get killed by the guy or just not teleport correctly. It can be sort of unnerving at times, but just listen to the music, get absorbed in it, it'll relax pretty quickly again. This level in particular, there's quite a few ways in order to go about it. I'm going to show just pretty much the first one that I ever tried. Mm, oh, and this is something sort of unique that you can use to solve puzzles that you can actually wait a little bit after you've put in your button commands and put in the last one at the last second so you can time your spell pretty precisely. It's very useful. And here's where we do that jump teleport combination again. They, like, they really like to make use of that. Not that I can blame them, because it's actually a pretty clever use of spells. They even use it again right here. Hopefully some of you can see where I'm coming from with the fact that I think this could benefit from a level editor of some kind. I don't know. Or I'd at least love to see more from this developer. He's very good. This isn't really a typical Let's Play that you'd see from me. It's just sort of, it's more of a showcase of a game that I found, and I thought it was pretty cool, so I thought I would show it with you guys. This level is actually pretty hard to figure out on your first time. You have to walk very precariously here in order to avoid walking right into the spikes. And this can be a little tricky to figure out, but what you have to do is wait for those diamond dogs to be just away from the exit so you can teleport without getting nicked. And this is actually the final level, the 12th level of the game. Like I said, it's very short. It's rather easy once you get the hang of it. This is really the only other time I like to use the shockwave spell. It's, it's quite useful, actually. Even here, again, you can use it just to burst away the walls. It's not too useful in combat. Usually you'll find that the laser will be easier. But I digress. We're pretty much at the end of the game now, so there's really not much point to explain too much more. I'm sure you understand. You have to employ some pretty advanced techniques for this level, but once you get the hang of it, it's really no big deal at all. And here you could try to kill these guys or do something fancy, but... Really the easiest way is to just go invisible. And there you go, this is the technical final level, I guess, level 13. There's really nothing to it though. You just walk up to here, and you cast your final spell, and that's it. You've beaten the game. Nice cute little scene here that you get to see. I mean, this is the only time in the game where the music really changes, so that's kind of something to noteworthy. Anyways, this was just a short little video. I suppose I can showcase one quick little thing. Uh, you can see challenges here. If you guys like the game, then I might go over those in more detail. They're pretty unique. Basically just seeing how seeing how many spells you can use to beat each level, the minimum amount. I've done some pretty stellar things there. It sets certain goals for you, and I've even done it in fewer amounts of spells than those goals, which makes me sort of a nerd for going that much into such a small little game. But there's also this all runes game that gets unlocked once you beat the game for the first time. And like the name would say, state, you have all the runes available to you from the very beginning. So you can cast spells like teleport right off the bat. It's very handy. And you actually also, if you look in the spell book, I'll show this off really quick. This is what it looks like. You get all your spells here. And you get to this one at the very bottom that never came into play in the original game. Might, you might find it uh, very similar to some other button combinations you've seen in other games. But uh, let's close that. We put it in, two up, two down, left, right, left, right. And what that does is that mimics something you would actually see in the show that this game is based off of. I'm sure most of you probably know what show that is by now. <laughs> and it basically destroys all walls and enemies and obstacles that you could possibly imagine. It's basically a, an almighty spell. And there's also mul inf infinite possibilities in the earlier levels with this infinite, with this all runes game such as you can do that, especially this level I like to sort of break it by doing this. Wee. <laughs> it's pretty nifty. And if you ever just wanna, if you're ever done, you feel like you don't wanna play the game anymore, you can just go ahead and cast the final spell anywhere in the game and you're done. Head back to the title screen and that's all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, I hope it was a nice relaxing sort of feel for you. If you want to play this game yourself and experiment around with the spells, which is much more fun to do. I imagine it's m more fun than watching me play it, but there will be a link to the download in the description below, and I hope you're all having a great day. So this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.